Guys, welcome back. Another video for you. Today we're going to talk about oil swab analysis. Now, whenever a turbocharger comes into us for a repair or for any forensic reporting or whatever the case might be, we will do a oil analysis. We want to know what the state of the oil is, what the condition of the oil is, what the contaminants are that might exist inside that oil. So we'll do a swab test uh, before we do any forensic checking or any forensic analysis and obviously we'll then include that as an addendum into any reporting that we might or might not give the client. It also gives us eyes into what has gone on inside of the engine and or turbocharger system and where there is a failure that is quite a tricky one or a two or three stage failure that we need a little bit of assistance with to rule out as a um, process of elimination, it's always good to have an oil analysis. Now. What we basically do is we have this card, which I'll show you close-ups of just now, which has four different oil tests or four pads that we can do individual oil tests on. Now, the pads have got a reactive chemical on them, which basically react to water um, or fuel, whether it be diesel, petrol, whatever the case might be. And it'll, it'll discolor into different uh, uh, shades and different colors, and it will basically give you an idea of exactly what Con what the actual oil contains in terms of uh, deposits, fuel or water dilution, fuel dilution. So this is basically a video on how this card works and some of the actual tests that we've gone and done previously on failed turbochargers and just to show you guys and give you guys an idea of what these tests can show and how we can actually use them to help you guys find any possible cause of failure with any of the turbos that you guys have suffered damages with. So this is a four pad tester and uh, we have basically got, there's your four pads. You can see I've already dropped uh, a drop of oil onto the actual pad under engine oil. You can also test brake fluid, transmission oil, power steering fluid, or any other type of fluid that might have water and or fuel dilution that you'd like to test for. There's a small little strip across the side over there, which you can just fold over. It's perforated. You can tear it off and you can basically use this as your dipstick as you wish to dip into the oil or fluid and then obviously just transfer that onto the pad. The reactive chemical on the pad will react in the same way regardless of whatever it is that you drop on there. So for your brake fluid, power steering and transmission oil, there is a guide over here which basically shows you whether it's in good condition, you need to change it or there's a, uh, an overdue for change, um, depending on obviously what it finds inside of that oil. Now, the most important part that we're gonna use is the section over here, because we mainly test for the oil that comes out of a turbocharger. Here it will basically give you degradation in terms of deposits, so a good, medium, and obviously bad. If you have any water dilution, this is for the petrol engine, that is for a diesel engine over here. So for a petrol gasoline driven engine, deposits, you know, pretty good up to around about here, starts getting a little bit dirty and then obviously this is overdue for a service or, or negligence in terms of maintenance. And then degradation and water. Water contamination, obviously that's pretty good. You're looking at the little shadow on the outskirts of the oil drop and then obviously that gets a little bit worse and even worse. I mean, when you start getting excessive water contamination inside of your oil, you start getting a yellow type boundary around the, uh, the, oil, the oil swab. When it comes to fuel, fuel dilution, that's what you're looking at there, that white uh, shadow that starts to form and obviously that gets worse and worse the more uh, uh, fuel dilution is picked up inside of the oil. The same happens with diesel. So your diesel, obviously your deposits and degradation. Same will happen with fuel di water contamination and fuel dilution. So this specific unit here, or this specific test, was done approximately an hour and a half to two hours ago. It needs approximately six to seven hours for the oil to actually settle inside of the pad and the reactive chemicals to react to show you a uh, accurate or a more concise 
result as to what's actually been found. So, you know, we would basically go and disassemble a turbo as a strip and quote, do an oil swab, leave it for the day. At the end of the day, we would revise all of this before we send the quotes out to the customers. Here are some examples of previous tests done. These range back to 2017 um, and this specific unit here, these are all diesel engines. Um, you'll find that, let's start off with these three. This was the same engine that we ran on a dyno for a customer, an engine dyno. So that was the, this was the very first test that we did uh, when the oil was brand new. That was the second test after the first uh, session approximately an hour later. And that was the third test done approximately two hours later. And you can actually start seeing you know, a little bit of degradation. We did this just as verification to make sure that the engine condition was great um, and under the circumstances and the test, the, the test conditions that there wasn't any degradation in the actual oil itself and the lubrication system was still intact. You can't really see much from this because this is pretty much good oil. Another test done where we find quite a lot of uh, water contamination. Now we actually mixed this oil ourselves um, just to you know, uh, uh, um, exaggerate the results. So you can see that the oil is relatively clean. It came from a diesel engine, but we just threw about 15% more water into the oil mixture that we had, mixed it up, and then we took a swab test and we put it on here just so we can extrapolate, just so we can uh, um, worsen the water contamination result. And that's pretty much what you get. This is another diesel engine test that we did. Uh, once again, the oil is in pretty good condition. There's not much fuel dilution or water contamination in this. Uh, that, that slight separation there is just, you know, some of the dirty deposits inside of the oil and the normal uh, um, oil just separating and obviously just spreading across the pad. So this was a, an actual good condition oil test. Okay guys, so that was short and sweet. Uh, didn't go into too much detail with a specific product. Just uh, a nice to have, nice to show you guys, and obviously uh, just to show you guys that we have eyes into the actual oil and the lubrication analysis when or if we have a failure that we've got to report on. Hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, post them down below. Remember to like us and subscribe. See you guys next time.